Power Rangers Battle for the Grid reveals more new fighters, gameplay, and mechanic breakdown. Evil 2019 applications are open for judges, artists, and other communities. Lewayne announced for the new Grand Blue Fantasy vs. trailer. Street Fighter League that gives out ridiculous prize money. Rumors of new data mining and potentially more characters of Season 4 of Street Fighter V. This is FGC News where I recap the news given from Event Hub and Shuriken.com. I'm Peck324 and let's get started. The stream was held where the developers revealed four new characters joining the fighting game roster and then brought on some of the most recognizable fighting game players to break down the gameplay mechanics and play some actual matches. Goldar will be the first non-ranger combatant to be announced for Battle for the Grid and is joined by Cat Manx from Power Rangers SPD as well as the Ranger Slayer and Mastodon Sentry Black Ranger from the comics. During the stream, players named Clockwork, Justin Wong, and IFC Yipes reveal that they are working on the game. Clockwork is working as the new game lead combat designer, Justin Wong working the title's balance, and Yipes going over the core mechanics. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid will fairly be like Marvel vs. Capcom 3, performing a 4 button fighter with light, medium, and heavy attacks, plus a special button and 2 assists. Matches will play out very similar to other vs. like games with extended combos, supers, push blocking, and more. Auto and target combos occur in the game, Battle for the Grid's true death will likely come from juggles and mix up in this 2D fighting game. Since the nine main stage games have been revealed and registrations are still open for EVIL 2019, but you don't have to compete to join EVIL 2019 as there are a lot more ways to get into EVIL. You can help by running event brackets by volunteering to be a judge, show off your art talent with a booth at an art alley, or bring a game to EVIL as a side tournament and be part of the EVIL community. Sign ups are on the main website of EVIL. First, works out perfectly. Give him the big orange. Give him the big orange. And yet, Sasha's just gonna hang back and doesn't want to even mess with that. Oh. That's right, sweet! This could be the start! A new trailer shows off gameplay of Wayne and his friends, Eslam and Tomoy, as they seemingly stumble their way through with their combat and their odd formation styles and team attack. Yadrasil was also revealed to be a summon, as she'll take their place in battle and toss out different earth and lightning based spells to cover all areas of the screen. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is currently slated for a worldwide release in 2019 on PlayStation 4 exclusively on the PlayStation Store. <laughs> For those who don't know, Street Fighter League is a web series where players compete each other in teams of three along with their captain being a top pro player in Japan to win prize money. There are six top players who are captain and they are Tokido, Daigo, Fudo, Nemo, Itabashi Zangief, and Mago. Each have recruited two players who are ranked platinum or above in Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, along with one beginner who wishes to become good at Street Fighter, and they were all selected through an auditioning program. Players fight each other in the same class, pros, high, and beginner class, and the winner is determined from each class different points. From the pros, they get three points for a win. For high class, they get two points, and for beginners, they get one point. The prizes for this league is as much as an international fighting game tournament. For winning first place, they will receive over $27,000. For second, $9,000. Third, $4,000. Fourth, $2,000. Fifth, $1,000. And last place, mostly sixth place, the team will receive over $900. And the prize money will be split within the team. The streaming takes place at the Rage Esports channels at Open Rec. <laughs> This information comes from a username, Yurinka, who seems to have finding 5 new characters for Street Fighter V. There might also be some extra battles, costume, and new stages. But data mining is not always predicted. We've known about Xkira coming forward with some few claims. Some were hits and misses. Even if they were predicted, we don't know the outcome the game will manifest. Capcom has sometimes report false or misleading data in their codes just to throw off data miners. User Eureka said that there are placeholders in several places of the game for the next 5 characters. They may have some arcade mode related jobs. 
and the codes are shown and named Z33 and Z34. And that's all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Peck the like, subscribe, and the bell for more FGC news and other contests I create and to help be part of the fighting game community. This is Peck 3 to the 4, signing out.